Hey there berries, welcome to my support 11.15 tier list. If you are not used to these, then I do bi-weekly updates on the League of Legends situation for supports. We go through the patch notes as a support player, and then we have a look and see what is strong to play in the patch coming and what's kind of weak. Uh, generally, the updates are every other Wednesday, unless there's an American holiday. So the patch will be going live on the 21st of July. So there isn't a huge amount of changes, but uh, there are enough to spice up a couple of picks coming into this patch. Um, the kind of main nerf is the Thresh, where his E is going down. That's his flay. Two seconds, increased cooldown on one point. So... Overall, in a fight, you'd probably only really use Flay like once. So I wouldn't say like overall, this is like a massive nerf. When you get into those team fight stages where you end up maybe using Flay like two, three times maybe, uh, that's where like the cooldown is going to slightly hit where it's only like where you don't max E, you usually put in points in Q and your W. So it might give Thresh players a think whether or not they want to put points in their W second or they E. It kind of depends like how often you feel like maybe disengaging from dashes as opposed to having to lantern to save somebody. Uh, so just as something to think about when you're up against compositions when you're playing Thresh now, that nerf is going to, you know, suck a little bit. Uh, but overall, I think he's a very strong high ELO pick. Um, but as these tier lists that I do generally focus towards gold and minus to help you kind of climb up if you are in those those ELOs, uh, Thresh generally isn't really a pick I recommend anyway playing uh, if you are gold or, or below. But if you are a high ELO player, I think Thresh is still going to be a relatively decent pick. Now we have some interesting gold minus buffs here. Um, the main one here being Blitzcrank. I think everyone kind of like knows that Blitzcrank is like the most basic kind of hook engage support champion to play um, when he gets to like high elo he becomes much more difficult to play because his kit is very basic and limiting the only real thing is like his, his one individual hook which other champions do have it's just that his hook is the strongest but it's kind of the most easy to read ability but people generally in gold minus have a problem with blitzcrank because they just aren't as good in positioning or like mechanically able to dodge them as, as nicely uh, so blitzcrank is actually going to be a little bit more scary if you are in gold minus i can see i know a lot of people do ban blitzcrank anyway um, but i can see him being pay, played a, a little bit more here um, so he is getting armor increase level one from 37 to 40 which is quite significant in my opinion uh, if you don't know like minion damage for example that is also affected by armor and also turret shots so he's going to be a bit tankier as well when if he does pull that minion aggro but the main thing here is that his Q damage is going up by 20 in on um, the level one uh, he is also getting an AP scaling as well so it's going to be more like 21 22 damage level one but it's still a huge chunk so if you do get caught off that level two you're even more likely to die so I can see people getting cheesed a little bit more here with the Blitzcrank early, um, you know, and his play rate will definitely increase because of this. I think his, his level one, level two, level three strength has just gone up like quite a huge amount here. So do be aware of the Blitzcrank very early cheese if you are uh, going against one. And I do expect people to just ban it out, honestly. Uh, the other support buff is the Rel. Uh, big buff for her. It may not seem like much, but a big buff for her with her W going down from 13 to 11 allows her just to do more in lane. Um, overall, I <laughs> I did say in the last tier list, if there's anyone at Riot watching, you need to buff Rel. So, hi Riot. I, I see you, that you see me. So thank you for buffing Rel. It was a much needed change. Um... We'll see where she is off this. I do feel like she has increased in power slightly and it is reflected in the tier list. Just so that if she's able to just engage uh, and potentially disengage a little bit more often should help her because she is incredibly immobile when she is like in her unmounted form. So this should help out quite a bit um, with the mobility issue. 
There is an Azaya buff, uh, but it doesn't affect Rakan whatsoever. So Rakan is generally, you know, still in his bad kind of like situation at the moment. If this was like an Azaya W change, then maybe it could have increased Rakan's power level. Um, but at the moment, no. So Zaya has got, uh, you know, her ulti has gone down in, in the cost, in the in the cooldowns. But it shouldn't affect Rakan really in any way apart from the fact that Zaya might get played a tiny bit more often. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going straight into the tier list. That is it for the changes for the patch in terms of the support role. Um, I don't think there's anything else really too crazy to add. Uh, Caitlyn did get a buff on her Q, so she is going to be able to poke in lane a little bit more often. So Caitlyn plus like the, the Zyra poke pick kind of thing is going to be a little bit stronger. Um, other than that, there is nothing really else major to talk about in the bot lane role. So if we look at the tier list, kind of standard picks as you're probably used to. Let's see if I can zoom out here a little bit. There we go. That's a bit cleaner, isn't it? Um, behind my head, there is a Teemo. He is hidden. He is toxic. Do not play it. <laughs> Do not play Teemo support. Uh, but you've got the usual suspects here. If you're, you're used to seeing my tier list, it's same tier 5, the exact same tier 5. Uh, tier 4 is pretty much the same. The Tarek buffs didn't really do anything. Once again, this tier list is for gold minus. So you're going to see Thresh down here. He is obviously weaker now. I definitely do not play Thresh if you're gold minus. Do just not play it. You'll, you will int, okay? And if you don't int, like, your people won't click your lanterns and stuff. So it's just, honestly, it's just not worth it. Just play play Thresh when you're plat plus, okay? Um, Tarek received buffs also recently, but it's not enough to increase his tier from tier 4. Uh, and Rakan is still in tier 4 as well. So nothing really else major to talk about there since nothing has particularly changed. One champion did move out of tier 4. And that is Rel. Rel has moved from tier 4 to tier 3. Um, you know, she is now a little bit more viable of a pick. <clears throat> so, you know, might be worth some more experimentation. I, I don't know how many people are actually going to know how to play Rel because she got released and then she got nerfed straight away and honestly I haven't seen a single Rel in 300 games or something so yeah it's kind of a disaster release uh, the Rel hopefully she will start making a comeback I think she's got one of the best emotes in the game um, if I was Riot I'd probably look at maybe buffing the Q hill as well so Riot, if you're listening and you want some more support advice, you know, to buff your champions to be a little bit more viable, have a look at buffing the, the Q jab heal. And uh, yeah, and also PayPal me for uh, the time spent as well, telling you what to buff in your game, okay, or hire me. <laughs> I think Braum is in a decent position uh, at the moment as well. Tier 3, I think a tier 2.5. I think I mentioned that on the last tier list. I think he is... Decently in a, in a good position as well, depending on what AD carry you're playing with. Uh, so one to keep an eye on as well. Everyone, everyone else in that tier list in tier three is you know fairly okay-ish. Like Morgana is okay, but the Caitlyn buff, Caitlyn Morgana in particular, that duo is going to be a little bit stronger. So Caitlyn Morgana. So Morga if you're playing with a Caitlyn Morgana, is probably more like a tier two. Just because of the binding into the Caitlyn trap is very strong. Um, other than that, in most compositions, Morgana is still going to be feeling like, eh, okay-ish. It's not like terrible, but it's not like the most amazing thing you can do. The most amazing thing you can do is looking at tier 2+, plus, where we got the Uwu plus Robot. So if you guys know, we have the, the tier two is the Uwu tier, has been the Uwu tier for the last couple of patches. But now we've got Uwu plus, plus Robot. So Uwu Robot, a tier? I don't know, maybe someone in the, in the comments section down below can, can name this tier a little bit better. But you got all the, all the enchanters. I think in, say, if you're gold or below, I think Nami and Blitzcrank are the two strongest picks here. Um, I think Nami's win rate, I was looking at the win rate shows overall, and Nami actually has an okay win rate right now, around about 51.5-ish percent if you are in gold across the world. So if you've got Nami win rate overall is, is pretty solid and decent at the moment. But I do think this Blitzcrank win rate is going to go up a lot and his ban rate is going to go up as well. So just keep in mind what I was telling you about that about earlier in the patch notes. 
I think everyone else in tier 2 is a fairly solid pick. You know, you, you got most enchanters slash mages. You play the Lux and the and the Zeref as a mage. Um, if you want a bit of hybrid between that, you've got like the Karma where you can play her mage in the lane and then you go into enchanter like utility from the mid game onwards. But you know, every single one of those champions there is a decent pick option for Soda Q. But you got the best of the best up here. And there is someone new in tier one that I've decided to put Soraka in tier one. Actually, I think she's she's very, very strong right now. Um, I think enemy teams also fail a lot of the time to buy Grievous Wounds. Even in high elo, people just like lack slack still on that. Um, but yeah, so Soraka has been promoted. I think her harassing in, in, in lane is basically the equivalent of a mage. And then obviously she's an enchanter for most, most part as well. So Soraka, very strong at the moment. You will probably have some difficulty about getting hooked from a Blitzcrank though, potentially. Uh, you would, if you were to run a barrier, some people, myself included, like to run barrier on Soraka. Just do remember that Blitzcrank ulti does remove shields. So with the increased play rate of Blitzcrank, just remember, remember to pop barrier, like, ideally after the ult has gone off. Because it will, otherwise you'll take, he'll wipe away your barrier and still do damage to you. So just remember, remember that. But the other four picks there, the Leona, the Brand, Zyra, and Nautilus are still doing very well at the moment in gold minus. I believe Zyra has the highest win rates um, when I was looking at that as support in gold. So just something to take in mind there. I think Zyra is very strong right now. Um, Rito, please don't nerf. But I wouldn't be surprised if Zyra at some point does get nerfed in this season. Um, but uh, everyone else there is fairly easy-ish to play and fairly solid and doing well in solo queue. So that is your tier list for 11.15. Um, the, the, I do have a little separate category if you are plat plus for some reason and you still need help. The, 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 the pick, there's nothing behind my chair. Those plat plus picks with the bard, the thresh is still, as we mentioned, is still a decent pick. Uh, maybe more so for diamond now rather than just for plat. But you still got Leon and Nautilus there and Zyra, which is still really strong in the in the lower ELOs. And then you got the Lulu and the Yumi become very strong uh, in Plat Plus. Particularly the Yumi can be very, very good um, as your AD carries get better and you pick the Yumi's with appropriate AD carry picks, such as Ezreal. You'll start to do pretty well, honestly, overall. So yeah, that is the complete package there. Hope you guys enjoyed the tier list. Um, if you guys like watching, you know, educational support content as well, we've got lots of coaching uh, episodes that are on the channel at the moment. We're currently doing a coaching series. The previous video to this one was a Seraphine coaching video that I'm doing for, with a coaching class at the moment. And there's bound to be more coaching sessions popping on as well. Uh, I've got a couple of um, popular streamers contacting me wanting to get coaching done by me. So um, expect to see some of those kind of videos up onto the channel at some point. I also want to play some Pokemon Unite, which is a new MOBA coming out on the Switch that comes out on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, look out for content of Pokemon as well, potentially coming soon as well, depending on how I enjoy that game. I'll give you guys my thoughts on that as well. So yeah, Pokemon MOBA on the Switch. I think it's called Pokemon Unite, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, we're giving that a go. And um, yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying the content. It's been much more educational focused as opposed to solo queue focused. Um, you know, appreciate all the support. Appreciate everyone coming over to the Twitch stream as well. And, and you know, hope this tier list helps you out and enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, I will say thank you to everyone who also donated to Samaritans. Uh, we ended up raising £1,500 for that. In, that we worked with Riot and some of other streamers as well. I think so far we're still waiting for some other streamers to stream. Like Ross Boomstocks, for example, is still waiting to do his charity portion of the stream. But so far, I think collectively... The UK streamers have raised just over £3,000 at the moment. Um, I think about, yeah, around about that amount. So, so far, we've been doing an awesome job. And thank you to everyone that did contribute to that. You are helping the lives of many, many people. So, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'll see you tomorrow for another... You know, maybe it might be Pokemon tomorrow. Who knows? It might be in a coaching session. I'm not sure. But it'll be something, something 
good. Oh, it's always good, the content, right? Yeah. <laughs> See ya.